Hey there YouTube, this is Necrostevo. As I promised, I am participating in the Indigo League of Legends, or IL. What a cool acronym. Um, my first round opponent was Isaiah. Um, I ended up bringing the Pokemon that you see on the screen basically to combat uh, a few uh, weaknesses that I saw in his team. Um, first of all, he's had several fairy types. He actually also was carrying uh, Gardevoir in addition to the Klefki and Altaria and Sylveon. So of course Altaria if it went Mega could be a fairy type. So I ended up bringing Venusaur, the offensive variant, just to help deal with those. Um, I knew if he had Klefki, uh, Venusaur can't really touch Klefki because I don't have Hidden Power Fire on this specific one, particular one that I bred. And um, Venusaur also handled Seismitoad pretty well, whom I didn't have anything for either. Uh, Zapdos and Venusaur were my first two picks because that kind of handled everything on his team except for Rotom Heat and um, his Landorus. And of course, Rotom Heat handled decently well by Aqua Jet from my Azumarill and so is Landorus. But just in case, I went ahead and uh, brought a Scarf Terrakian as, uh, in addition to the Azumarill just to have some added insurance there. And it also would help out to have Terrakian Scarf to go against the uh, Talon Flame. Now I ended up bringing Clefable and Bisharp kind of as um, one of my cores for this battle. Just because Clefable, uh, the defensive version, I decided to go with the unaware version specifically because if you wanted to set up with either Spirit Tomb or set up with Talent Flame or on the rare occasion you might have set up with Sylveon, I wanted to have something for those that didn't care about the setup. Also he had Melodic. Melodic really can't touch a lot of my teammates, it, it can pose the threat of a burn, but um, with the Pokemon that I brought, wasn't worried about Melodic, and of course I also was not worried too much about his Altaria with Bisharp with the ability to use Iron Head and of course Venusaur using Sludge Bomb. So um, it did turn out that his Seismitoad was a kind of a big problem for my team. I severely underestimated not only the speed investment that he had on it, but the set he had was really interesting. And you'll see kind of that set roll over into Spirit Tomb a little bit too. So uh, the use of Infestation, very tricky to play around and I make a, a few misplays, but overall I really enjoyed the battle that I had against Isaiah. A little bit haxy, but uh, let's go right ahead and get into the match. Now I was expecting him to lead off with Klefki or Landorus in this battle when I saw the team he had on team preview. Um, Landorus, a more annoying option, as I didn't have any defoggers and he could set up Stealth Rock if he wanted to. But uh, I ended up leading with Venusaur just in case he decided to lead with Klefki, then I could put him to sleep with the Sleep Powder, or Bluff It rather, because I didn't have Sleep Powder on that set. Uh, he actually goes for a Crafty Shield, which is a move that is a priority more for Klefki, that's going to block um, basically status effect type moves. And then he goes for Toxic, and then on the following turn, after I hit him with the Heat Wave, he shows me Heal Block, probably predicting the Roost that Zapdos often carries. I decided just to go for Volt Switch instead of Thunderbolt, just because um, there's no reason to let him know that I have Thunderbolt. I really like holding that more powerful move in the back because Volt, Volt Switch fails to get a lot of KOs. So having Thunderbolt is nice. Um, I bring in Clefable on the Seismitoad, trying to figure out his set, and he shows me Poison Jab. I was not expecting that. And then he doesn't take that much damage, so that tells me that he's definitely Assault Vested. But the Poison Jab didn't do that much, but I did not want to get Poison. So we go back out into Venusaur expecting another poison jab. And although he's just kind of going for poison jabs here, Venusaur took that really, really well for me being a more offensive variant. Um, the switch out into Talonflame was pretty obvious, and I didn't want to go for Giga Drain when there wasn't anything that a Seismic token can really do to a Venusaur. So I decided just to go ahead and go for Sludge Bomb, and I do get poison on the Talonflame. And that actually might matter because I don't really have anything to set of Stealth Rocks. And he has leftovers, so this might be a more bulky talent flame. Uh, so with the poison offsetting of the leftovers, that's going to lower his survivability a lot. Now expecting the Brave Bird, I decided to go on the Zapdos. It is an offensive Zapdos with a little bit of bulk. Um, that way if he decided to go for Flare, flare Blitz, I would be, still be able to take it. Um, and here I figured he would switch out, but at the same token, if he switched out on the Landorus, then I'm going to lose a lot of momentum if I try to Volt switch out on the Landorus. And so I decided to hard switch out, go back out into my Clefable expecting Landorus. He goes for a U-turn. 
So that was, um, especially since he had leftovers, if he was one of the more bulky variants of Talonflame, that was very risky, but it definitely worked out for him as he's able to get back out into his Assault Vest Seismitoad. Now here he surprises me with Infestation, and I have Wish Protect on my Clefable. Here I was just going to pass a Wish, expecting another Poison Jab. Uh, and while I have Wish Protect, he actually is going to pick up the uh, Poison Hacks a turn after this. So we actually are going to have a little bit of a stall war here. As he just goes for tries to go for Poison Jab, and the Infestation is trapping me in, so I can't just switch out. So I have to wait for that to run out. Um, as we saw earlier, my Moon Blast weren't doing that much damage, so there wasn't a lot of point in me going for that. That Poison Jab really just had, did a lot more damage than the one he did earlier, so that must have been a low roll earlier, or a pretty high roll now. But this is where I was, I should have just had Magic Arc Clefable, because now it, I have to play this really, really annoying stall game, um, waiting on the Infestation to wear off so that I can switch out into something. Uh, he did try to go for a Drain Punch there. It's really good that I saw that because now I know that he has that move. Um, I figured as soon as I had the opportunity to, I could switch out into Bisharp to be immune to the Poison Jab and then hit him back or set up my own Stealth Rocks. Because uh, I, I don't know, I just really underestimated Seismitoad's speed. And I have a decent speed investment on my Bisharp. So he must be a, a very max speed type variant of Seismitoad to outspeed my Bisharp because my Bisharp couldn't outspeed a multitude of slower threats like Seismitoad. Um, of course the rain's not up so he doesn't get Swift Swim or anything either. But now that the infestation is over, I did go on to Bisharp and he surprises me just by going for infestation again. I thought for sure he would just poison jab. And that's unfortunate because now I'm stuck in here and I don't even go for Sucker Punch. I went for, um, I went for my knockoff there trying to get rid of his Assault Vest. But he also sped me and killed him with a Drain Punch, so I just completely wasted my Bisharp. Not a good play right there, I could have very easily went out into Venusaur and saved Bisharp for later. Um, here I'm not afraid to go for Giga Drain. If he brings in Talonflame, it will definitely die to Poison Damage after the Giga Drain hits it. So that Poison did matter earlier, otherwise he would have been at a pretty healthy level of HP probably. And uh, I would have been forced to go for Sludge Bomb. Now Talonflame, um, Seismito may have had Ice Punch. We won't know that for sure. Uh, I'm surprised to see Spiritomb come in right here, because I know I can do a lot of damage to it with my Giga Drain. Uh, so I decided to go out into Elector, expecting a status type move, and he goes for Infestation. I didn't. I was just expecting him to burn me. Um, that, that's kind of annoying that he went for Infestation right there. It was a really good prediction, because of course Venusaur can outstall a Spiritomb, even if it's using Pain Split and so on. Uh, since he decides to trap me in here, I could have switched out with the Volt Switch, but I didn't want to because I was I know I showed him that earlier, so I just decided to go for Thunderbolt. And that works out great because if I had switched out, then I would have run the risk of um, having something else put to sleep. So he tried to predict me to use Volt Switch to, to get free. But I didn't want to chance that. I was expecting Willow was not Hypnosis, but still. Um, and here I knew he would switch out to Bisharp, and I was fishing for the burn, which is why I went ahead and went for Heat Wave, instead of just switching straight on to Venusaur. Uh, I really wanted to burn this thing because then it would basically neuter it. Right now, if it has the right coverage moves, that can be pretty annoying for my team. Expecting Infestation, I went directly on the Venusaur as opposed to last time when I tried to play around with it. No reason to do that. Um, I do want to do as well as I can in all these league matches. So uh, here, just expecting him to switch on the Spiritomb, I just stayed in and went for Giga Drain to get that HP back. Um, of course, I get a crit there. Highly doubt that it matters since I'm max special attack and modest on this particular Venusaur. Um, and I I think I bred this Venusaur with Hidden Power Fighting for Heatran as well. So I have Venusaur with Hidden Power Fire, Hidden Power Fighting, Hidden Power Rock, and Hidden Power Ice. I'm covered on, Ven on Venusaurs with Hidden Powers at this point. Uh, I wanted to see if the Landorus was Scarf, so I decided to go right out into Zapdos. I'm going to end up taking uh, Poison Damage, which is unfortunate. But if he Scarfed, he'll be forced to switch out, and that means I get another opportunity to burn the uh, Seismitoad. And I actually do pick up the burn this time, so I was very happy to see that. Because now Seismitoad is no longer a threat. Um, granted, Munisaur can just one-hit KO it with a Giga Drain, I think even through an Assault Vest, if his max invested in Special Attack. But why, why play with the odds like that? So I just went out into my Clefable, he predicts that, goes for the Poison Jab. Um, 
still does okay damage, uh, but not enough to 2 it KO me after poison from this point. But since I stalled so much earlier, I knew I just could finish off the Seismitoad, so I just wanted to make sure I put him in range to be finished off, so I just went ahead and went from Rune Blast. Um, just put some solid damage on there, make sure that timer on him is a little bit lower than he wants it to be, basically. Uh, now I can finish him off with just about anything, since his HP is so low. Uh, he finishes me off with Poison Jab. I did not want to chance switch out to anything there and getting poison or anything weird. Uh, so we're going to go back out into Zapdos. And now I just get to go for a, another Heat Wave. He actually switches out here and goes out into Landorus. I didn't expect him to do that. I figured a Heat Wave would KO the Seismito from that range. And so, um, or rather that it wouldn't. So I went for Tailwind, expecting him to just hit me and KO me. But since he switched out and I used Tailwind, now I can hit the Landorus with the Heat Wave. He may be Scarf, but with plus two speed blowing from behind my team, I'll be able to get some nice solid damage off and I actually pick up another burn right there as he critical hits me with the Rock Slide. So a very hacking match, uh, but still pretty good. We're both making predictions throughout this battle. Since he's burned, even without the burn, uh, Mega Venusaur has no trouble taking Rock Slide from Landorus. There is the chance of the flinch chance, but that's why I wanted to set up the Tailwind, because that allows my Venusaur to be faster. Um, so Venusaur is going to pick up KOs on both Landorus Therian form and Seismitoad, who is at very little HP after um, all that burn damage he took. And Sylveon is actually his last Pokemon, so Sludge Bomb is going to do a very large grip of damage to it. And he hits me with Moonblast, but being resisted, not going to do very much damage. And he actually also has the Pixelate. Quick Attack, which I have not seen before on Sylveon. Interesting there. A mixed Sylveon. Uh, Pixelate, of course, similar to Pinsir's Aerial 8 Quick Attack, raising the power of that significantly. But thank you, Isaiah, for that battle. I learned a lot about your team. I'll be looking forward to facing more of your sets in the future. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. Um, and let me know if you want to see uh, more of an analysis of my opponent's team thinking of doing something a little bit more in depth for my future matches, but I would like some feedback on whether you guys want to see that at all. So I'll talk to you guys later and have a great day. Bye bye now.